Uh, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, thank you, Joe, and all the organizing uh, people for inviting us uh, over. You hear me? Um, so I'm Ronen Siegel. Uh, I'm CEO of uh, Brainsway Company and also chairman of the uh, Brain Stimulation and Monitoring Technologies Consortium. I'll tell you, uh, and I'll try to keep your mind uh, about some uh, fascinating uh, new things that, that we're doing uh, with the brain. Uh, just in a snapshot, Brainsway is a medical device company uh, focusing on the development and commercialization of the deep TMS, deep transcranial magnetic stimulation technology. This technology was uh, invented by Professor Tsangen at the uh, NIH, the U.S. Uh, National Institute of Health. And U.S. government uh, owns the IP, and Brainsway has the exclusive worldwide license for commercializing uh, this technology. Um, the main breakthrough of, uh, of Brainsway is that first time in neuroscience, uh, we have a non-invasive way to penetrate the brain with energy, with non-systemic and no side effect, which is non-surgical either. Uh, so the main, main breakthrough is that first time in the history of, of uh, dealing with the brain, we have something that could be very effective for treating the brain without the side effects of the other treatments. So this is the main punchline of what I want to tell you about. And from here, all the rest is only details, so I'll try to do it fast. Brainsway is also uh, traded uh, in the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange under a BRAN since 2007. The main idea starts with the, the understanding that everything that we do in the brain has to do with electrical activity. The brain is more than anything else an electrical machine. The problem starts if we're trying to do something and there is a, a too much or too little electrical activity in a certain area, this usually results in a brain disorder. So what could we do with that? So today, understanding more about this black box called the brain, uh, using sophisticated imaging tools like uh, functional MRI, PET-CT, sophisticated uh, EEG analysis, we know better to correlate certain areas in the brain to certain dysfunctions or certain illnesses related to the brain, which means that if we need or we want to treat the brain, we don't need to, to blast the whole brain with chemicals or electricity. We can go in a much milder fashion and send a special unit to the certain area of the brain which is afflicted by, by the disorder. And this is exactly what we're trying to do. So just for simplicity, one of the beauties of this technology is that we have almost endless number of, of parameters that we can treat the brain. We can change frequencies, uh, where intensity, the power, and each one of these parameters would cause a different neurobiological effect in the brain. But just for simplicity, I'm, we're using two types of modalities. We can use high frequency stimulation, and this causes elevation of the targeted area in the brain, which means that we're actually firing those neurons who are asleep. Because for each one of us, when we need to cope, for an instance, uh, with a mood disorder, uh, uh, um, like uh, depression, for an instance, there's a, a circuit in the brain which is called brain reward system. And this uh, circuit is supposed to be functioning to cope with the disorder that we have. This works for normal people, but people suffering for depression cannot cope with it because this circuitry does not active. So what we do, we use an electromagnetic coil which sends uh, magnetic power to the specific areas in the brain which are related to these disorders and they actually fire them and they make them active in the same level as normal people. The same way we can use the same uh, uh, material but with low frequency will cause inhibition or decrease of, of the electrical activity in the targeted area and this is used for different type of diseases where we have elevated or, or, or too much electrical activity in a certain area, like in attention deficit or Parkinson's disease or other types of uh, brain disorders. Uh, Brainsway got uh, approval, as you know, in medical device, you need to, to get the authorities uh, and you need to go through a very rigorous 
type of scientific evidence to get approval for working with your device. Uh, in Brainsway, we got uh, uh, 11 indications that were approved by the CMARC and is commercialized in the European Union. As you can see here, we have many of the indications in the psychiatric field and also in the neurological, including clinical depression, bipolar disorder, OCD, schizophrenia, and, and post-traumatic stress disorder, along with a family of addiction studies. Now, all, all of these uh, indications have different products. We have a series of products. As you, as you saw in the, in the first slide, we have uh, different colors for different targets in the brain. On the, on the neurological aspect, we have uh, um, treating uh, Parkinson's disease, um, Alzheimer's, pain, MS, and autism. And uh, following that, we got the FDA approval, which is the ultimate goal for a company of ours to start commercializing in the US, and many of the rest of the world is following that. This is the, the, the rest of the indications. I won't got, uh, get into all these, but what, what's interesting is also that everything is backed in a very rigorous and very uh, high-level scientific studies that we've uh, conducted, and everything is published in peer review papers, in the most distinguished neuroscience papers in the world, in clinical studies, and also in preclinicals, where we have a lot of studies that we're doing first phases in animals, and then we, we, uh, we show the, the safety and, and efficacy of these treatments. Any of these devastating conditions, as you can see here, these are the numbers of millions of people suffering from these diseases. So we're talking about brain disorders, altogether an aggregate of, of about uh, um, uh, two billion people around the world suffering from these uh, diseases. And many of them either have uh, uh, not enough uh, uh, type of treatments available, or some of the diseases that we mentioned have no treatments at all. And uh, uh, the, the way that we found that many people who are suffering from these diseases for many years and did not s uh, find any relief in the existing pharmacological or other types of existing treatments are actually changing their lives by uh, using uh, uh, our technology. Um, so part of the, uh, uh, give you just, uh, just an, an example, uh, one of our leading indications is, is uh, clinical depression. And uh, when we're talking about clinical depression, it's a very severe condition where people are losing their lives, losing their jobs, losing their, their friendship relationships. And at the end of, of, uh, of the road, uh, uh, the, the, the most severe uh, uh, condition could be uh, committing suicide. And as we were just evident this week, uh, 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 famous actor Robin Williams uh, uh, suffered from this disease, were t were, was taking medication, and that apparently did not work for him. Uh, we believe that, that if, he, if he would uh, uh, use uh, uh, this type of uh, magnetic uh, therapy, uh, that might work, and we have a lot of showcases showing that, that uh, these cases could be relieved, uh, that doesn't uh, get any relief in, in other types of, of uh, treatments. As we can see here, even though the drugs are first line of treatments and still uh, people are looking into taking drugs for solving their issues, um, f at least 50% of the people are unresponsive for the drugs or cannot tolerate the side effects which are uh, uh, associated with, uh, with taking the drugs. So what could we do with them? So electric shocks, as, as uh, many of you know, uh, found to be very effective for treating the brain. But the main problem is, is the therapy with electric shocks, which is, by the way, still pretty popular. Only in the US itself, there are more than one million procedures of electric shocks every year. It is effective, but it has a lot of, a lot of side effects, and many, many would refrain from doing it, especially after seeing uh, you know, Jack Nicholson's movie and, and uh, the other uh, associated. So what we do is actually uh, uh, using electricity in a much milder fashion and targeting the specific areas for these diseases. Usually uh, a course of treatment is over five weeks of daily treatment, treatments. Altogether, we have about uh, 20, 20 sessions, and, uh, and it's a 20-minute session each time uh, repetitively. Um, in order to get the FDA approval, you can see here, what our biggest effort was a multi-center trial where we had 20 centers uh, collaborating with us all around the world uh, to get the results. Uh, you can see the biggest names, uh, including Harvard Medical School, Columbia University, and also in Israel, in Germany, and, and uh, in other places around the world. And uh, what, what 
the most important thing was that we could show in a double-blind study that we had significance between the patient who got the real treatment versus uh, the sham treatment, and this granted us with, uh, with the FDA approval. Safety is also uh, uh, very important, and we showed that not only it's a very effective uh, treatment, but uh, it's safe and there are no known side effects associated with, with this type of treatment. So it was a very happy moment sitting here on January 9th, if you remember the snow day in Jerusalem. So this is one of the, of the good things being in Jerusalem, that the good news comes uh, in, in the best timing. So we were sitting and, and in two o'clock in the morning we got this fax from the FDA letting us know that this is approved after three years of, of a very, very, very uh, tight uh, um, study that we've done. So this, that's FDA approved. And, What's also important that we got all the key opinion leaders in psychiatry and neurology on board and they say after seeing many, many patients who they treated for years and years and nothing really helped them, that after they were treated by that, they got their life back. So they call it a game changer uh, in psychiatry and neurology. I'll skip this and I think that in conclusion you can understand that there is a huge uh, opportunity here and we are just you know, starting to scrap the potential of, uh, of all the technology. Uh, here you can see the spread already of what we have all around the world and, uh, and we see ourselves as a very, very rapid uh, growing company. Not only that we are developing the, the future of new treatments for the brain, but we made also a little bit of history in the Boston Science Museum, they already placed our machine in one of the demonstrations of uh, uh, new, new technologies uh, in science. Uh, I'll just mention one thing, and this is a different topic, but I see also here representatives of the chief, chief scientist officer, which is also supporting us uh, all around the, uh, uh, the way that we're going. And I think this is one of the unique things in Israel for startup companies, and especially in Jerusalem. We're very proud to be in Jerusalem, even though that there are many challenges associated with, with companies being in Jerusalem, but we are also heading a consortium of companies who are working together to, to develop the next infrastructure of the future of, of uh, neuroscience. So thank you very much. I think this is only the iceberg of what you can uh, uh, know about us. If you're interested, you can go on our website. I invite you to visit it, um, either iceberg or the brainberg. Thank you very much.